are officially recording. Oh wait, wait, take the 40 off. Okay, now we're good. Now we're official. Okay, can you see the bebe? Uh, you can kind of see the bebe. There's a bebe back there. So, we are now officially on the road. She woke up, but she's back asleep. Wait, you're getting cut off. Oh, am I? I can't see. Yeah, you gotta turn a little bit. So this is gonna be our first attempt yeah, this at a YouTube video. And our first attempt at a road trip with a three-month-old. Yeah. So, a lot of firsts happening. So, what's this video? We're gonna see what it's like traveling with a baby yeah. and report back. Um, yeah, we, we're gonna let you know if we overpacked, underpacked, we're gonna let you know how the drive was and any activities that we want to do and how that goes with a baby. So the bebe. Also called a bebe. A little um, nervous about how many times we're gonna have to load her up in the car and drive around. Yeah, she hates the car. She so. hates the car. So but look, yeah, we're already we'll crushing it. So okay. how do we get the baby to sleep in the car? So. I woke up with her at her 5 a.m., 5.45 feeding, yep. fed her, handed her off to Sheridan. Yep. And so then I took her and we walked around until she fell asleep. And then I put her in the stroller and I walked her around the house to keep her asleep. Was that with the car seat in the stroller? No, that was with the stroller. Oh, you hadn't switched it yet? I hadn't switched it yet. That was just the stroller. That was like the standard stroller. And she napped for a little bit, then she woke up, we walked around a bit more. But you were able to get dressed. I was able to get right, dressed. So what we got done between 6 a.m. and 8.30 when he gave her to me, Sheridan got dressed. And I got her dressed. And got her dressed. So that is what that we were able to accomplish. That one that she handed her off to me. Yep. Better again and got to watch Sheridan pack. Yes, so then I packed up the car and collapsed her bassinet. Got a bunch done, and then I we, handed her off to you, and I did some cleaning yep. around the house. And that was about another hour. We got the dog situated, got the house cleaned, and then I topped her off, a little extra boob action. <laughs> and then uh, we... I don't know if that's gonna sound right. No, it'll sound fine, people will laugh. Okay, all right, we'll see. Let us know if you laughed. Um, and so, and then we... Well, now I feel like you made it. No one didn't make it weird. And then Blue walked her with the car seat attached to the stroller base outside. Around, let the dogs run around one more time. And then she fell asleep and then we instantly Boom. got in the car. Action time. She's been asleep for the most part since and we've had to make a few stops so I'm pretty impressed that she's so still we've asleep. actually action. been driving almost an hour. And she slept the whole time, but we're really just now getting on the road. We've made it almost nowhere yet, so we're, you know, finally getting started. And we've got basically an hour and 45 minutes to go. Yeah. We also changed her four times, I think, during that whole thing. Easy. So we didn't get a big poop. So one recommendation before we left, or before you leave, if you're looking at this for your own advice, we really wanted to wait for that big poop, but didn't we didn't happen. get it. We got some tubes though, but uh, no big poop. We'll see if that affects our drive here. I expect an explosion eventually that we're gonna have to pull over for. So that would be one kind of regret. We expect treacherous conditions, and we'll let you know if we're impacted. All right, so that, that's how we did it. It's going great so far. Yep, so uh, far so good. But, okay, we have a debate. Okay, so we're driving through Arizona. There are a bunch of saguaros. Is cactus also plural, or does no. it have to be cacti? It's cacti. I know it's not cactuses, but I said, look at all the cactus, and that sounds right to me. It's not. It's cacti. You don't think, so it's like sheep. Like, look at all the sheep. I feel like cactus can be plural no. in either way. I don't think that's I think how that works. Google it. Look it up, but I think you're wrong. Well, I know cacti is the proper is a proper way of saying it, but I think there's two proper ways of saying cactus in plural. No, read it to me. Well, it says the plural form is cacti. However, cactuses is seemingly an accepted plural, but cactus is not. What? It doesn't say the that. The word cactus is a singular word. It refers to a plant. 
So the if referring to more than one such plant, the word cactus must undergo some changes. But it's saying cactuses is sometimes accepted, accepted, but you can't use cactus for plural. Right. So ultimately, you were wrong. Yo, you know what other like word I think should be a word that's not a word? What word? You know what the past tense version I think of snow should be? Like it snowed last night. You know what I think it should be? Snow. It's snow. Oh my god, look, Christmas morning, it's snow. I'm not sure I agree with that. I think snowed is appropriate. Snowed sounds so dumb. It's snow. It's snow? It's snow. No, that sounds worse. Tell us what you think. Snew or snowed? I vote snowed. It's clear where you stand on this topic. Okay, I actually feel like I know words good. You know And this words is making good. me feel like people are gonna think I don't know words good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's making me think that, so. Shit. And I know you. So, you know, I guess. So, do you think I know good words well? Good? Yep. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I really do. Alright, look at all the cactus. It's cacti. So we left around 10, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah. It's almost noon, and that little bebe is still asleep. Still asleep. So there's something to be said about our routine. Knock on wood. We're about to get to the Sedona Scenic Drive. Yep. And that'll start like our sightseeing. Yeah. Pretty excited. We might even turn the camera around and get some footage. Some clips, maybe take some pics. Yeah. I. We're out. A baby on a road trip. We got the explosion. Look yeah. at that happy baby. Yeah. Look at the happy baby. All right, let's change it. We have switched seats. Yes. And Sawyer is eating. Eating. And we are gonna eat soon. Hopefully. We're 30 minutes from our hotel. We're pretty much in the middle of Sedona. So she did okay. She's gonna be really yeah, happy she, to go back in. Her I mean, she just seat. got up. Yeah, but hopefully, hopefully, after eating, she'll be happier. And, and then, we could walk her around for a minute. Yeah. 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 So. So far, so good. Honestly, she did great. We're almost at the hotel, and I think at this point, no complaints on, you know, the drive or the the prep, the process. All right, well, I'm enjoying a nice meal outside to the pulpit. If you noticed, I'm here alone. A little bit of fussiness, so Sheridan is walking around with the baby, but check out this view. What up, Sedona? It's beautiful. Parenthood, am I right? <laughs> Alright, so we had to fight our way through our Uber packed car. Yes. To find some change of clothes because we decided not to stop at the hotel. We're doing a hike. We're doing a hike. Sawyer's been a real trooper. She fed. We've got her sarong-like muslin going on. Cover her legs. She doesn't get sunburned. She's got her hat. I got my hat. I got uh, sunglasses. So what we're doing now is our first Sedona hike. And we were planning on doing Bell Rock, which is that big rock over there. Um, but I guess that one's really busy, so we're gonna do Baby Bell instead. Where are you? I'm right Hi. here. Right so that was chaotic. It was very chaotic. Sheridan had to carry the brunt of that because I uh, was feeding. Breastfeeding. <sighs> but we made it and uh, here we are.
we're at our hotel. We made it to the hotel. She just ate hella. Yeah. We put in a food order. Oh, she got hella spit up right there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Big spit ups. Big spit ups. Um, so we set up a changing table. Yep, got the bassinet all set up. The bassinet set up. So, what did we learn today? A, look up reviews for hotels because this place is a resort, but it's just a motel renovation that opened this week. Yeah. And we probably should have stopped at the hotel earlier. It made driving and going in and out a little hectic. Oh, yeah. Having everything in the car. Yeah. But so, she did really good, so that was good. She did great, but for sanity next time, yeah. unload the car before Definitely trying to hike. Work. Yeah. We were trying to limit um, taking out and putting in in the car seat. Yeah. But she actually did okay. All right, we're here and hiking. This is what we're looking at. Look at the river. Look at the river. Oh, show them the rocks. Show them the rocks. No, look at the rocks over here. All right, there are the rocks. Sheridan makes fun of me because I love rocks. There's Soy, she's snoozing. And yeah, it's going great. Okay, so. We have officially concluded the Sedona trip. We are driving back, so I guess it's not completely done yet. Um, how would you say it went? Good. Nice. It was it, exhausting. It was exhausting. She honestly did good, and I don't actually think we overpacked for her because I think she ended up wearing everything, right? No, not even close to everything, but oh. like we had Pajama-wise. Like, Pajama-wise, we went through all of her onesies yeah, okay. with spit up and poop explosions. <laughs> um, but th those didn't take up much extra space. We used the Bjorn bouncer a little bit. Yep. Um, maybe didn't need to bring her dragon stuffed animal, but I really want her to like that. So, so we're just projecting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think all in all, like I overpacked for myself. Classic. There were things that we brought that, like, maybe we didn't need the bouncer, but we did use it, so, like, I'm not mad at it. Um, we obviously used her carrier. The stroller was a lifesaver. Um, and I think, like, she all we has done like really good. We spit up cloths that we used all of. So, all in all, we did two, like, easy hikes. We went to a restaurant with her, sat outside. With a really pretty view of Sedona. We did the scenic yeah. Sedona drives. And, and a wine tasting. A wine, yeah, we went to a wine tasting with her. So, like, we were out and about. I don't think we, like, sacrificed too much on, like... Rain was more limiting than the baby, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We also played with the drone and got to, like, try to capture some yeah. mountainscapes with the drone. That was really cool. So, I think managing expectations, we didn't do some of the classic Sedona stuff. We didn't go to the Slippery Slide yeah. State Park, because obviously we couldn't do like any river swimming hole yet with her this age. But it wasn't a wasted trip. No. Well, the only thing I will say is I think if, with a trip like this with hiking, a big game changer will be when we can put her in a backpack. Yeah, and have her on our back rather than our front because there were a lot of hikes we couldn't do because you have to climb a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, success. Success. <laughs> I'm in the back because she was crying. But now she's asleep and now she's very asleep. happy. I would recommend a, like, two-hour drive destination for, for you know, like, I think doable. It's definitely good to practice, and I think that was our whole thing. There's things we'll get more efficient at, 
And yeah. I think managing expectations is a big thing. Like, don't expect to do everything you'd want to do, but also do the things you love, even though you have a baby. And that's what we're trying to learn how to do. It definitely wasn't perfect, but I think, you know, you just try to make it work and still, you know, do the fun trips and have little adventures even when you have a baby.